Let's go through the workflow of how to touch off a drill chuck. I'm gonna use the ER20 collet chuck, but the same applies uh, for pretty much any round bore that you're trying to dial in on the tool post. The tools needed are gonna be a coaxial indicator and the tool that you're trying to sweep in. So since I'm using the ER20, I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull everything out of the collet. I'm gonna pull the collet nut, the collet, and the tool out, and then we're gonna sweep the bore of that uh, collet chuck. And then at that point, we can set our height and our X uh, zero. Let's dig in. Because I actually need a coaxial indicator in the spindle here. Just give it a little tippy tap. The coaxial indicator we're going to use today is the Heimer Centro. The way this works is we'll put an appropriately sized collet in the spindle and the the tip can rotate around while the indicator stays facing the operator. And then this kind of antenna looking thing will wedge in the corner of the machine to keep this from rotating while we manually spin the spindle around. Tool out of the taper. So let's get all that out. Kind of wipe everything down. Make sure it's clean. go. I'm seat that in here. My mallet. Just a little tap. Just to lock it in. It's 5C collet. This one's a 16 millimeter. 5 eighths is close enough for the central to work as well. And I've got the antenna stuck in the corner down there. Tighten it up. And this one, I just need to snug it. I don't need a wrench on that because we're not going to actually turn the lathe on. There we go. Now we're all over the place. So what I like to do is I like to focus on just the X or just the height. And so we'll start with the X. You can see at the apex out here. So we're at about 120 on this side. And then we're at about, we're not even touching on the other side. So we're going to scoot this in a little bit until we get something and then we'll check it again. Here we're off by what 50? I'm just going to dial this thing in until these two needles are in the same spot in the front and the back of that bore. So we're barely touching over here. We're cranked on this side so let's split the difference to about 25. The difference here of about 26-ish. We'll kind of dial it in. So now we're at 28, so I'm going to keep going to, it's a full 27. Mm, that's about 27, so that's pretty close there. So now I need to make sure my Y height, or my, my height here, is going to be the same. And these numbers should all be the same as I sweep this. To adjust the X, I've been, what you might not have seen off camera, is I've got the uh, jog pendant down here, and I'm adjusting X in tenths while I was sweep in that indicator. And then for Y, I have to use the height adjustment on the tool holder. And so I'm gonna loosen the jam nut and the thumb wheel, and then we're gonna kind of dial it in as we tighten it up. And to loosen this up, I'm gonna hold the screw with an Allen wrench. And then, yeah, see that's, that's loose there. That could, be, could have been our difference. But I'm gonna hold this in place so I don't unscrew the the set screw here and get this up out of the way and now I'm gonna get the jam nut out of the way but I'm gonna re-snug this because I don't want to make that much of a change I'm, I'm making very minute adjustments here so let's lock this in place kind of up top we're at about 15 again and we're around 39 and so I need to drop this a little bit lower so I'm gonna give this a little tap Range. And I like to go a little low, and then as I'm tightening, it's going to draw it up a little. So I want this is closer to 33 now. Let's get this tightened up. Okay, so we're just a little fuzz low. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. And then that'll snug it all together. Move that thumb wheel just a fuzz. It's so close. It's, it's, I always have to remind myself we're dealing in tents when this thing's moving around. But, if you're going to do it, do it right. 
So now we're kind of, we're down into about two tenths of run out right now. I'm gonna call that good enough for what we're doing. I could definitely spend some more time and dial that in even tighter. So now that I've got the height set physically, I need to tell Pathpilot where that X offset needs to be. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the right tool set up. I've got my tool 17 in the tool holder and I'm gonna tell it that we are at zero in X and I'm just gonna hit, hit touch X. So now that's gonna adjust the tool offset for that spindle center. There you go.